Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play a finger style arrangement of Treat You Better. So let's get into it. So for this arrangement, we are in standard tuning, all open strings, no capo. If you want to play this song in the original key, you just need to put a capo on the first fret of your guitar. But for this lesson, we're just going to stick to playing it without a capo with all the open strings. Also, all the tabs for this lesson and all my other lessons are available on my Patreon page. You can check out the link down below. It really helps support my channel. So I've divided the song into a few different parts. Let's start with the intro. It sounds like this. So we start off by playing this chord where we have the 12th fret of the A string and the 10th fret of the D string. And you have to play that with a palm mute if you don't know that technique, I'll explain it really briefly. So when it comes to palm muting, you have to lightly rest this part of your right hand on the strings really close to the bridge like that. So anything you play with the mute will sound partially muted like that. And make sure your hand is resting closer to the bridge rather than on this side towards the sound hole because the more you move this way, you'll completely mute the string. You don't want that. You want a partial mute. So make sure your hand is close to the bridge like that so that you get the muted sound. So the first chord that you have to play with the palm mute is, the, is this one where you have the 12th fret of the A string and the 10th fret of the D string. You plug them both together three times like that. And the next chord is this one where you have the 10th fret of the A string and the 9th fret of the D string and you plug them both together three times just like earlier like that. And then you move two frets down and now we have the 8th fret of the A string and the 7th fret of the D string. And you plug that three times again just like earlier. So if you play the whole thing from the start you get this. And after that you have this part. So there you play the 8th and the 7th fret two times together. And then you change to this one where you have the 10th and the 9th fret and you play that once together. So you get this in the end. So now all together you have this and then you repeat the whole thing one more time. Just like that. So that's the whole intro. I'll play the whole thing once for you. It sounds like this. And after that we have the verse. It sounds like this. The very first part sounds like this. So you start with an A minor chord where you have the second fret of the D string, the second fret of the G string and the first fret of the B string. So you start by playing this where you're playing a roll with the right hand. So you're playing the open A string, the G string, the B string and the open high E string together with a roll like that. And right after the roll there you have this part. So there you play the open A string again and then the note on the first fret of the B string. So all together you have this, I'll do that again really slow. And after that you have this part. So there you have this chord which is actually a portion of a G major chord. You have the third fret of the low E string as the bass note. And you also have the first fret of the B string there, which you're playing with the index finger. So on the right hand, you plug the low E string, the open G string and the B string together. Like that. And then you hammer on with your little finger onto the third fret of the B string. Like that. I'll do that again. 
So right after you do the hammer on there, you do that where you're playing the bass note on the third fret of the low E string again. Like that. So I'll play the whole thing once from the start really slow. It sounds like this. And then you have this part. So there right after we played this part, you change to this chord where you have an F major chord. So you have the first fret of the low E string which you're playing with the thumb, the third fret of the D string, the second fret of the G string and the first fret of the B string. So you play the first fret of the B string two times and then you start forming the chord and then you play that. So there you're playing the low E string, the first fret there. And then you're playing the first fret of the low E string with the third fret of the D string together. And then you're playing the second fret of the G string. So all together you have this one more time. So all together it sounds like this. I'll do that again really slow. And in the end you just have to play the bass note on the first fret of the low E string two times. So you have this. So all together from the start you have this. And after that in the end you just have to add this little fill. So there you're playing the first fret of the B string, then the third fret of the B string, and then the open high E string. So all together slowly you have this. And then you change to this chord. So there basically you're switching back to the A minor chord. But this time you're not playing it with a roll like the last time, you're just playing the open A string and the open high E string together. And then you're playing the bass note on the open A string again. Like that. So all together from the last part you have this. And then you have this part. So that part there is exactly the same as what you played after the roll the first time. It's exactly the same as that. So I'll play the whole thing from the start till this point. So we have this so far. And after that you have this. So there you start by playing the first fret of the B string two times and then you form an A minor chord and you play this. So there you're playing the open A string and the open high E string together first and then you're playing the open high E string two more times. Like that. And after that you play the bass note on the open A string again. Like that. So all together from the start we have this so far. One more time really slow and then you have this part so there you're playing the open high E string and then you're hammering on onto the third fret of the high E string like that and right after the hammer on you play the first fret of the B string so you get this so all together you have this one more time And if you play it from the start, you have this so far. And then you have this part. 
So there you change to this chord where you have the third fret of the low E string and the third fret of the B string. Plug them both together. And then you play the note on the third fret of the B string again. And then you play the third fret of the low E string with the open high E string together. So all together you have this. I'll play that one more time. And after that you play the 3rd fret of the B string and then you play the 1st fret of the B string. So all together you get this. One more time really slow. I'll play the whole thing once from the last part. You have this. And then you have this part. So there you change to the F major chord, you have the 1st fret of the low E string which you are playing with the thumb, the 3rd fret of the D string, the 2nd fret of the G string and the 1st fret of the B string. So there you start by playing this, where you are plucking the 1st fret of the low E string and the 1st fret of the B string together and then you have this part, where you are playing just the 1st fret of the B string first and then the bass note on the 1st fret of the low E string. So all together you have this. One more time. And then you have this part. So there you're playing the first fret of the B string. Then you're hammering on onto the third fret of the B string. Like that. And then you're playing the open high E string two times. So all together you have this. One more time. And in the end you just add the bass note two times. The note on the first fret of the low E string. I'll play this whole part once really slow. And if you play it from the start you have this so far. And then you just have to play this part again. It was the exact same thing that you played before, just the last part. So there in the end you are actually just repeating that last bit that you played. So I play the whole verse, it sounds like this. After that we have the chorus which sounds like this. So you start by playing the note on the first fret of the B string four times, like that, and then you form this chord which is actually an A minor chord. You have the second fret of the D string, the second fret of the G string, and you also have that first fret of the B string. So right after you played the first fret of the B string four times, you start by playing this. So there you are plucking the open A string and the first fret of the B string together. And then you're slapping and ringing the chord like that all the way up to the B string. So there you're ringing the D string, G string and the B string together with the slap. If you don't know that technique I'll try to explain it really briefly. So you're ringing the chord using this motion with your index finger like that and you're also slapping the thumb onto the lower strings 
to create that percussive sound. So you're doing both of them simultaneously, you're doing both of them together. So you get this. So there you're ringing the chord and you're slapping at the same time to get that effect. So all together from the start you have this. And after that you have this part. Where you're playing the open A string, the bass note, again. Right after you ring the chord with a slap. So all together from the start you have this. And after that you play the open high E string. So you have this. And then you ring the chord with the slap. Just like that, just like before. So you have this all together again. And then you have this chord. So there you're changing to this chord where you have the third fret of the low E string. And you plug that with the open B string first. And then you ring the open D and G strings with the slap. And then you play the bass note again, the note on the third fret of the low E string. After that you play the first fret of the B string. So you bring your index finger to hold that note. Like that. And then you ring the open D and G strings with the slap again, just like before. I play the whole thing again, one more time. And then you have this part. So there you change to this F major chord where you have the first fret of the low E string, the third fret of the D string, the second fret of the G string and the first fret of the B string. So you start by playing the bass note on the first fret of the low E string and then you slap and ring this part of the chord where you have the third fret of the D string, the second fret of the G string and the first fret of the B string. You're ringing that with the slap. Like that. And right after you ring the chord with the slap, you have that part. So there you have the first fret of the low E string and the first fret of the B string. You're plucking them both together, the low E string and the B string. And then you hammer on onto the third fret of the B string using a little finger, like that. So all together you have this. And after that you lift this finger up. And now you ring this chord with the slap again, just like before. Just like that. So all together you have this. One more time. So from the start of the chorus we have this so far. And then you have this part. So there you change to this chord which is actually just a C major chord. You have the 3rd fret of the A string, the 2nd fret of the D string, the open G string and the 1st fret of the B string. So you start by playing the 3rd fret of the A string which is the bass note. And then you ring this part of the chord with the slap. So you ring the D string, G string and the B string with the slap like that. And right after the slap, you play the bass note on the 3rd fret of the A string again. Like that. I'll do that again really slow. And then you have this part. So there right after you played the bass note on the A string, you play the note on the 1st fret of the B string 2 times. And then you ring this part of the chord just like before with the slap. And then you play the note on the 1st fret of the B string again. Like that. I'll do that again really slow. So all together from the start you have this. One more time really slow. So all together from the start you have this so far.
enough that you have this part. Which is basically you're repeating that last part. So just for reference, I'll play the whole thing once from the start till this point in the original tempo. It sounds like this. After that you have this part. So there you have to play the third fret of the B string with your little finger and you're playing that with the open A string. So you're plucking the open A string and the third fret of the B string together. And then you're playing the open high E string. And then you slap and mute the chord. Like that. And right after you mute the chord with the slap, you have this part. So there you're plucking the open A string and the third fret of the B string together. And then you're playing the first fret of the B string. And then you're slapping and ringing this part of the chord, the open G string and the first fret of the B string together. And then you're playing the first fret of the B string, just that note. Like that. I'll do that again really slow. So all together you have this. And after that you have this part. Which is basically the same thing. Instead of playing the open A string as the bass note, you're playing the third fret of the low E string as the bass note. Everything else is exactly the same. So all together from the last part you have this. And then you have this part. So there you change to the F major chord again. You have the first fret of the low E string which you're playing with the thumb. The third fret of the D string, the second fret of the G string and the first fret of the B string. Start by playing this. So there you're plucking the low E string and the B string together. And then you slap and ring the chord. And then you play the bass note again. The note on the first fret of the low E string. Like that. So all together again you have this. And then you have this part. Where you're playing the first fret of the B string. And then you're hammering on onto the third fret of the B string. And after that you have this part. So there you lift this finger up and now you ring this chord with a slap all the way up till the open high E string. Like that. And then you play the open high E string, just that note in the end. Like that. I'll do that again really slow. And then you have this part. So there again we have that part on the C major chord that you played before. I'll go through it again. So you start by playing the bass note, the third fret of the A string. And then you ring the chord with the slap. And then you play the bass note again immediately after that. And after that you have this part you played before. You're playing the first fret of the B string two times and then you're ringing the chord with the slap and then you're playing the first fret of the B string again one more time. Like that. So all together you have this. So I'll play the whole chorus from the very beginning. We have this so far.
enough that you have this part. So there again it's exactly the same as what he played before. And the last part is a little different. So there you have the F major chord again. So there you start by playing the bass note, the note on the first fret of the low E string. And then you ring the chord with the slap. And then you have this part. So there you're playing the bass note on the first fret. Then you're playing the note on the third fret of the D string. And then you're ringing the chord with the slap. Like that. So all together you have this. One more time really slow. And then you have this part. So there you plug the first fret of the low E string and the third fret of the high E string together. So you're plucking the low E string and the high E string together like that. And then you play the first fret of the high E string. So all together you have this. And then you play the open high E string. And after that you play the open high E string again. And then you do a hammer on onto the first fret of the high E string. Like that. And in the end you play the open high E string like that. So all together you get this. One more time. So that whole last portion on the F major chord sounds like this. So that's the whole chorus. I'll play the whole thing from the start. You have this. After that we have the second verse which is exactly the same as the first verse but the very beginning of the second verse is a little different because of how the way the second verse connects with the ending of the chorus. So I'll play it from the last part of the chorus, it sounds like this. And so on. So the very last part of the chorus was this. Played that with the open high E string ringing out in the end and then you have this part. So there you basically have the melody note which is the open high E string ringing out from the last part of the chorus. So you start by playing the bass note the A string which is open two times like that and then you play the first fret of the B string and then you do the hammer on with the third fret of the low E string just like before and then you continue it's exactly the same as what you played in the first verse so you have this at the start of the second verse and then the rest of it is exactly the same as what you played earlier in the first verse so after this second verse the song goes into the chorus again which is also exactly the same as what you played earlier and after that you have the interlude part which sounds like this. So there you start by holding the 5th fret of the B string with your index finger and you start by playing this. So there you have the open A string as the bass note, you play that first, then you play the note on the 5th fret of the B string, and then you slap, and after the slap you plug the open A string and the 5th fret of the B string together, like that. So all together you have this, one more time, and right after that you have this. 
So right after we plug the open A string and the 5th fret of the B string together, you have this part, where you're pulling off from the 7th fret of the G string to the 5th fret of the G string. So first you have to hold the note on the 7th fret of the G string with your ring finger, and you play that, and then you pull off to the 5th fret of the G string which you're holding with the index finger. So you have this. And after that, you hold the note on the 7th fret of the D string and you play that with the slap. Like that. I'll do that again. So all together from the start you have this. One more time. And right after that you have this part. So there you have the 5th fret of the D string and the 5th fret of the B string. So you start by playing this. So you're playing the D string first. And then you're playing the B string. And then you're slapping. Like that. And after that you plug the D and B strings together. Like that. I'll do that again really slow. And after that you have this part. So there you're playing the 7th fret of the G string with your little finger and then you're playing the 5th fret of the B string and then you're doing this. So there you're slapping and ringing the 5th fret of the B string and then you're doing a trill. So that basically involves you sliding up from the 5th fret to the 6th fret really quickly and then sliding back down to the 5th fret. Like that. I'll do that again really slow. One more time. So all together you have this. And if you play it from the start, you have this so far. And after that you have this. So there you have the 8th fret of the A string and the 5th fret of the B string. You start by playing this. So you're playing the A string first, then the B string. And then you slap. And after that you plug both of them to get the A and B string. So you get this. One more time. And right after that you have this part. So again just like earlier you are pulling off from the 7th fret to the 5th fret on the G string. And then you are playing the note on the 7th fret of the D string with the slap. Like that. Just like earlier. So all together you have this, one more time really slow, and then you have this part. So there you start with this chord shape where you have the 8th fret of the A string and the 8th fret of the B string. Plug them both together, and then you play the note on the 10th fret of the G string with your little finger, and then you slap like that and then you have this part where you're plucking the 8th fret of the A string and the 9th fret of the G string together and then you have this so there you play the 10th fret of the G string with your little finger and then immediately after that you slap and then you play the 9th fret of the G string so you have this one more time so all together you have this, one more time really slow, so if you play it from the very beginning it sounds like this, and after that you repeat this whole part. end the last chord is a little different. So there you're playing this. So you have the 8th fret of the A string and the 8th fret of the B string. You start by playing this. You plug the A string, then the B string, and then you slap. And then you do this. By playing the A string and then the B string again. 
So all together you have this. One more time, really slow. So that's the whole interlude section. I'll play the whole thing once. It sounds like this. And after that we have the bridge which sounds like this. So the very first part sounds like this. So there you start with this chord, which is actually a portion of an A minor chord. You have the second fret of the G string and the first fret of the B string. You start by playing this, where you're plucking the open A string, the G string and the B string together. And after that you play the bass note, the open A string again. And after that you have this. There you're playing the open B string, then you're playing the bass note, the A string, which is also open, and then you're playing the first fret of the B string. So you have this one more time. So all together you have this. And then you change to this chord. So the next part here sounds like this. You start with the portion of a G major chord, you have the 3rd fret of the low E string and the 3rd fret of the B string. You start by play, plucking the low E string, the open G string and the B string together. Then you play the bass note again, the low E string. And then you have this. So there you play the 3rd fret of the high E string, you play that with your little finger. Then the bass note on the 3rd fret of the low E string. And then you change to this note, the note on the first fret of the high E string, and you play that. So all together we have this. One more time, really slow. And if you play it from the start. And then you have this part. So there you're changing from this chord to a C major chord. You're actually playing a portion of a C major chord. So you have the third fret of the A string and the first fret of the B string. You start by playing this, where you're plucking the third fret of the A string, the open G string, the first fret of the B string, and the open high E string all together. Plucking all of them together like that. And after you plug the chord, you play the bass note again, the 3rd fret of the A string and then you have this. So there you have the 3rd fret of the B string which you are playing with the ring finger, and then the bass note on the 3rd fret of the A string and then you remove this finger and play the note on the 1st fret of the B string, like that. I'll play that again really slow. And then you change to this chord. So there you're changing from a C major chord to an F major chord. So this finger stays on the first fret of the B string and now you add the first fret of the low E string with the thumb, the third fret of the D string and the second fret of the G string. So you have this. So there you're plucking the low E string, the D string and the G string together first and then you're playing the bass note two more times. Like that. So all together from the start we have this so far. And after
after that we have this part again this is exactly the same thing as you played in the very beginning on the a minor chord and then we have this part so here you have a portion of a G major chord again and this time you're playing it with the ring finger and the little finger. So you have your ring finger on the 3rd fret of the low E string and your little finger on the 3rd fret of the B string. You start by playing this where you're plucking the low E string, the open G string and the B string together. And right after you pluck the chord you have this where you play the note on the 1st fret of the B string. So all together. And then you have this part. So there you're plucking the open B string with the bass note on the 3rd fret of the low E string together. And then you're playing the open G string. Like that. So all together you have this. And then you have this part. So there you change to the F major chord again and you play the note on the 2nd fret of the G string first and then you play the bass note 3 times like that and after that you do this where you're plucking the chord, the low E string, the D string and the G string together first and then you're playing the bass note 2 more times like that. So all together you have this. So if you play it from the last A minor chord, you have this. And after that you just repeat this whole thing, so you get this. So I'll play the whole bridge once, it sounds like this. And after that the song goes back into the chorus again but this time the first half of the chorus is a little different, it's a little bit more quieter. So what I'm doing is I'm playing all the same notes that I played before but I'm just not playing all the slaps that I played. So I'm just remo removing all the slaps from the part that I played before. So it sounds like this, I'll play the whole thing once. So I guess you can work out the first part there. I'm just not playing the slaps in that part. And after that the second part of the chorus is exactly the same. And after that you have the interlude again which is also exactly the same. add that chord. So here we have an A minor chord where we have the open A string, the 7th fret of the D string, the 5th fret of the G string and the 5th fret of the B string. You can play it like that with a roll or you can plug the whole chord all together like that. So that's the ending of the song. Let's discuss the song structure once. 
So we start with the intro, then we have the first verse and then we have the chorus. After that, the song goes into the second verse and then the chorus again. Then the song goes into the interlude, followed by the bridge. After that, the song goes into the chorus with the first half, which is quiet. And then the song goes into the interlude again and then ends. So that's the whole song. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped. All the tabs for this are available on my Patreon page. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions or requests for song tutorials, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.